you install your software, which would uh, clear everything out in video and audio, and you could save your video and audio files to that DVD and reload after the installation. So it's a nice storage medium. Or I could just simply take these series of clips, save them onto the DVD using that DVD export for disk transfer. So I could go on out and head over to another Casablanca in a completely different location, take that disk transfer, put it in there, load it up, and load those scenes right into that Casablanca. A couple of other important points about the disk transfer program is remember that we are using DVAVI format as the way we're saving these scenes to your disks. So if you wanted to save it over onto a PC, remember you need to change that settings section there for the type 1 or type 2 depending on how you're going to transfer or store your information. Same thing applies if you're taking a scene from your PC to load into this scene bin, then it's only going to use the disk transfer and C DV AVI files to load into this clip bin. And we are using uncompressed on those formats. The other thing to point out about disk transfer is that the scenes that you save using it using that burn onto your disk, these types of scenes are not going to play back in a standard DVD player. This is not something that will just play back. It's using it again as storage or for transfer between Casablanca devices or using them to transfer from Casablanca to a PC. So this is an awesome program that brings a whole bunch of new power to your system, allowing you to save these scenes, use them again and again without losing any quality, protect them, and use them for a lifetime. I did want to take a moment and show you one of my favorite pieces of Casablanca software. It's called PowerKey, and it truly is powerful. Come take a look with me. I'm going to go into a different project here that has some other footage, and it's uh, got images or photographs of some of the U.S. presidents from the uh, Smithsonian in Washington, D.C. You can see that I've got a three-second long image of uh, George Washington. Well, what PowerKey does is by me pressing down function key F2, it shows me and gives me a keyboard equivalent for every on-screen menu command. Very, very cool. So I can sit down and have the ability to modify all the parameters in my project here by using largely the Casablanca keyboard. Let me show you how this is a powerful and cool feature if you're doing something like a photo montage. Well, you can see that George is now three seconds long. But what if I wanted to uh, a trim George down? So let's go T for trim. O for out. And I'm going to make George, uh, instead of three seconds long, I'm going to make him two seconds and 15 frames. So I go back to the edit menu, and you can see I've now trimmed George to 215. By holding down the control key and the letter T, it will trim all the rest of the clips to an identical length with the first one. So I've very quickly just trimmed a whole series of images all to two seconds and 15 frames. Well, now what I want to do is add those or insert those to the storyboard. With power key, it's a breeze because you have a repeat function. To set up the repeat function, what I'm going to do is hold down this key here, which is called the storyboard key. By holding down the storyboard key and insert, it'll simply just put George up inside the storyboard. But here's where the real magic occurs. When I hold down the storyboard key plus control and then insert that image, you see it inserted George, but then it scooted over to Thomas Jefferson saying, aha, he wants to repeat this and do something else. Let's follow him along. Now I press down Control and the key R for repeat, and it asks me, okay, Chet, how many times do you want to repeat that? Well, I think there's 14 more presidents that I have in my collection here. By clicking Return, it added all of those presidents with five keystrokes. Isn't that cool? Let's take it one step further. Let's say we want to put a crossfade or a transition between those. I'm going to click on this button here, which is the screens, or interface button and I'm going to select the key for the transition menu and I would like to insert a crossfade in between those two. But because I pushed the control key I set up the repeat function and now again with five keystrokes I've added a crossfade transition between all the images inside my storyboard. Very powerful 
editing with your Casablanca digital editor. Let me offer you one more suggestion. If you do lots of photo montages, here's a very powerful feature. And this is on every Casablanca. Take that original image and go to the special menu. Then come down here to the zoom feature. And what I recommend is just a slow, what we call a push in or a slow zoom in. On the odd scenes, zoom in, and on the even scenes, zoom out. And here's what you get. A slow zoom in on George. Now this was not zoomed in via the camera. This was done by your Casablanca editor. And a slow pull out or a zoom out on Abraham Lincoln. Now when I add those to the storyboard, do a nice little title screen and throw in some music. Here's what the result looks like. Isn't that cool? It's a great way to take family photos, to take photos of the bride and groom. Um, a very powerful way to take two-dimensional media and make a very compelling and powerful performance. I'll go ahead and stop that, and I'm just going to say, Ken Burns, watch your backside. I'm coming after you.